Hey guys, welcome to a bonus video today, and this is going to be exactly with the things that we've been looking at in the C Sharp series, but from the C Sharp series, I'll be going into little details about specific parts of programming, because I'm showing you how to implement specific mechanics and things you'll do day to day, but I'll also include little videos which will show specifics of certain parts of programming that you might want to look at. Now, this is a little bonus video for after what I've done on the trigger event that we've done so when we interact with something we do something else and now you can have a bunch of different trigger events which do something slightly different and I've just already written it out so you can see it as a whole. We'd used the on trigger enter and we still look for a player and then we do something if when we enter the trigger and the condition is met we will output whatever we want or do whatever condition we choose. Now, on trigger enter works one time and only when you enter that trigger. There's something similar, if you change enter at the end of on trigger and so change it to exit, and you have exactly the same code with it, it just means that when you exit that collider that you entered, it will then allow you to do something, so that might be it could be any sort of functionality. When you enter it, it could open a door. When you exit it, the door could close. Something like that. Or we've got something else which is called on trigger stay. And on trigger stay is slightly different to those two because those two only activate once when you enter and exit. Whereas on trigger stay is like an update method. And as long as you're inside that trigger, it will always be running that code. And one of the other things you can imagine that on trigger stay could be something where if you stand on a fire in a video game and then that fire damages you over time for as long as you're in that fire you will lose health and that's what on trigger stay could help you do because if it was on trigger exit or enter it would only do that damage once so that's something that you want to remember when we're inside unity i can choose one of my triggers i will just i will add my trigger examples to this script and when we press play you can watch down in the console and you will see what happens and when we play this example we expect the things that I mentioned so if you're watching the inspector down here and I will go and move to my trigger when I go into my trigger you can see that because we've got on trigger stay activated a lot of different uh, different things. The first one was I have entered the collider because we egg entered it. For the rest of the time that we're inside that collider, I am inside the collider because that's what we had in the code. Then at the very bottom, we have I have exited the collider, and then the I am inside the collider stops. This was just the three main and different types of trigger events within Unity. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.